Hi everyone, this is Julia from Adventure Geek and this week I've got 10, yes, 10 what's in the box items. This might be a slightly longer video than normal. I'm sort of playing catch up, I haven't done one of these for a little while, so please bear with me. But I've got lots of little quirky things I'm going to show with you from watches to coffee to pillows to tent bags to all sorts of things. So if hiking and backpacking is your sort of thing, the Watch in the Box series are small little gadgets that really don't make a full gear review. So I'm just going to whiz through some of the things that I've bought recently, tell you the reasons why and the weights and all prices and that sort of thing. So if hiking and backpacking is your sort of thing, then stay tuned for this week's What's in the Box. Alright, so first things first, the very first item is a new watch. So for ages and ages and ages, I've had an Apple Watch and you know, my Apple Watch has served me well. I think they look quite good. They work well as a smart watch, but um, obviously I'm going on the PCT in April next year and I wanted something that I didn't have to charge every single day. I also wanted something that had really good maps on it as well. So the first thing that came to mind was a Garmin. Um, so that was what I, I went on the hunt for. A friend of mine had a Garmin Vivo Active, uh, which Thanks Debs, that was absolutely brilliant. I used it on Hadrian's wall, but as soon as I put maps on it and that sort of thing, I still had to charge it at the end of every day. So that wasn't the best option. Uh, then a friend of mine said, Julia, I've seen this uh, other Garmin watch, which is on Facebook Marketplace. Said, give it a try, they're really awesome watches. So I've actually been trying for the last two weeks. I've purchased a Garmin Phoenix 5. And I'm super, super impressed. I actually only got this for 80 quid and they're about 700 quid brand new for the Phoenix 7s. But I wanted to try it out first and so far I'm, I'm absolutely loving it. I actually like the way that you press the buttons rather than it being touch screen. Um, so yeah, the Garnet, Garmin Phoenix 5 is my new watch at the moment. Um, we'll see how we get on, but yeah, maps, I've charged it perhaps it's it lasts about a week uh, and that's me using navigation on it as well. So yeah, super impressed with the Garnix Phoenix 5. So that's my first one. Let's quickly go on to item, item number two. Item number two is a bit of a lifesaver for me and this will be coming on the PCT with me next year. Um, I've swapped out my tent bag for my tarp tent notch. Um, I know my other bag is a Dyneema bag and yes, it's a lot lighter. This weighs 48 grams. Um, but it's, it's so much easier to put your tent away. Why is it that tent manufacturers make their tent bags so that it's really tight? Uh, and when it's cold and I suffer with uh, you know sore hands, I suffer with Raynard, so trying to get a tent back in when it's freezing cold, it's hard work and it start, makes you a miserable day uh, before you even started. So I like this bag mainly because it's a little bit quirky. It's got this flap on it as well. It's got an extra place in here where you can put your tent pegs. Um, the size of this is 15 centimetres wide um, and I think it was 42 centimetres long. If that's wrong, I'll put it on the screen. I say the weight of it was 48 grams. Um, so I've been using this now for about three months on all of my camping trips and I would never go back to my Dyneema bag. Um, because this just works really well for me. A friend of mine has one of these and she has it on the outside of her pack at the bottom. So it's forever on the floor and stuff like that. And she says they're not that durable. So that's something to note. Um, but you can get them from AliExpress or Amazon and I'll put the links uh, down below. And I'll timestamp all these so that you can see, go to things nice and quickly. So that's item number two. Let's go on to item number three. Item number three. <laughs> I'm going to be honest with you, I didn't mean to buy this. You know when you sort of put things in your basket ages ago and then I accidentally checked out on AliExpress and then this turned up. It's like, I don't remember buying that. But anyway, this is something I wanted to buy for a little while, but I couldn't sort of justify whether I'd actually use it or not. But I'll give it a go in the UK. I don't think it's going to come with me on the PCT. But I'll tell you what it is. I have a quilt and obviously with a quilt, you don't get the hood. So that's what this is. It's by Camperbox. It's 100 grams, which is the reason why I probably won't take it on the uh, on the PCT. 
and it is literally just a hood for my quilt just to keep my head warm so actually i might weigh it against my beanie uh, and see if that works but <laughs> So it's just to keep your head warm in the uh, when rather than having a do I look like a right numpty? I think I'll probably do. <laughs> so it's a sleeping bag hood, but for a quilt. Anyway, it's got a drawstring as well somewhere here. What do you think? <laughs> I'll turn this off. Item number four on my list are these new Shout t-shirts. What do you think? So if you don't know what Shout is, Shout is a charity and it's free of charge for anyone in the UK. And it's a text message service for, uh, it's like a helpline, a crisis. So if you're feeling low or anxious or suicidal or anything like that, you literally just text the word Shout to 85258 and uh, and they will they're there instantly at the, any time of day or night and they're there to save lives it's actually very close to my heart someone very close to me um use this service and you know it saved their life so um yes any profits from these are available on my website any profits from these just goes directly to the shout charity so i just thought i'd get that one in there so please purchase a t-shirt and uh yeah fantastic right that's item number four let's go on to item number five i'm sort of going to do these together so item number five and item number six are crop trousers um so i've been wearing the i don't know if you saw a video that i did a little while ago how disappointed i am with the new montane inio hiking leggings or hiking pants so i've been using the new um these are new montane crop trousers these are super comfortable uh, and I've been wearing these all summer. So that's the new Montane Crop trousers. They're great. They've got pockets either side. Uh, I've just weighed them. They're 221 grams, um, but it's comfortable and light, as in they've got a really nice sort of inner. Um, it's like a mesh. I'll give you a close up of what that looks like inside. Um, yeah, and I like the pockets. Gotta have pockets. I do like my pockets. So that's those. The second ones, I don't know if you can see if I'm actually wearing these. Ta da! These are the Crag Hopper um, crop trousers as well, or three quarter trousers. Do you know what they do with Crag Hoppers in every single one? They have these little glass polishers. So if you wear glasses like I do, it's quite good to be able to take these off, just clean your glasses and put them back in. And you get those with most uh, Crag Hopper trousers. But actually, these again are super comfortable. So. I'm not sure whether I'll take these or my hiking leggings on the PCT, but actually might take a pair of these or two pairs of these. I'm not sure yet. I can't wait to put my list together. So anyway, that's it uh, the, with the crop trousers. Let's go on to item number seven. Item number seven. If you've seen any of my videos about socks, then you'll know that I've never really been a fan of these, but I'm here to tell you I've changed my mind in gingy socks. For some reason, I started getting blisters in between my toes. I never get blisters, but for some reason I started to develop them. So I'd had a pair of in gingy socks and I got a blister on the back of my heel, which is obviously nothing to do with the toes. So I was sort of in my head, they're a load of rubbish, it's just a fad. Um, and then when I was on the Camino in April, I bought a pair in Pamplona and I thought, okay, we'll give them a go. And you know what, I've never looked back. These are super comfortable. They're not very durable. Um, so I've already gone through two pairs since April. Uh, and I know I do a lot of walking, but uh, they're super comfortable and I've not had a blister at all uh, uh, wearing these socks. So I've got these ones and I've also got some liner ones as well. Um, but yeah, I've got the long, the long ankle is that what it's called i don't know but yeah so yeah in gingy socks toe socks if anyone knows of any other brands because i bought some from decathlon and they're quite good as well and they've got like a compression to them um i'll show you a close-up of those um but they're really hot so they'll be good for um they're really thick and warm but i think they'll be good for winter but not necessarily for summer so in gingy toe socks if you've got any other brands that you would recommend that are a little bit more durable than in gingies then please leave that in the comments below but yeah i'm a convert to toe socks next item in the box which is i think it's item number eight is 
coffee bags so my daughter bought me these for me as a, a bit of a gift thing we did a gift swap video there's i'll put a link to that video below which was quite funny um but these are from flying star they're coffee bags i've now got about six packets of these because the coffee inside is absolutely lovely um, i love it and i've always got these in my food bag so this is taylor's of harrogate um, and their coffee bags they've got various different ones these are like medium but they've got you know dark thick roasted ones and stuff like that as well um, I've tried quite a few different coffee bags and I don't like any of them but these ones I won't go without now so thanks Rachel for that and uh, yeah now part of my staple okay so we're nearly there now so this is something i've had for ages um but i probably have talked about it in the past but i've changed the way that i use it or will be revealed so this is a decathlon um, air pillow and actually it's the inside of it that weighs the is got all the weight so this inside bit the bit that you blow up is 91 grams so I checked that out the other way, weekend and I just took the inside, which is actually a bit like a, so you can put, I just put a down jacket inside and uh, it's really nice and cushiony on the top and you can put this in the washing machine. So it's a bit like a pillowcase really. Uh, and this anyway is like 54 grams. So I was quite happy with that. And uh, it, obviously it goes quite small. So that's one of the new things I'm decided that I'm definitely going to do. So I will be taking this on the PCT, but without the inside bit, because I think pillows are quite important and you want some comfort. Um, but actually I slept better with my down jacket inside it, or even I actually put my nature hike, I've got a down blanket, that all was stuffed up inside it as well. So that was quite cool. Put any sort of clothes inside it uh, and that's that. Okay, so my very last one is something I've been, I've not been using for a while, but I've had for a while, which is the new um, Platypus Quick Draw Filter. Um, I, I've always used the B3, um, but this weekend was the first time I actually used it properly. So I've been wearing some wild camping this weekend, and yes, I, I absolutely love this one. It's quite quick, easy to use, the flow rate is really good. And I like the way that you've got a top and a bottom and uh, you can just shove it in the bottom of your quilt and you know it's not going to leak everywhere. Um, whether it's easier to use than the B3, I think the B3 is probably easier, but the B3 does clog up after a while. So we'll sort of see how we go with this, but that's the quick draw platypus water filter. And yes, yeah, so far, so good. So that's my roundup of all the new stuff that I've had over the last couple of months. Um, I hopefully, hopefully you found that of interest. Um, I'm not here to play the algorithm game, so videos go up as and when I go, do have time because I have a full-time job. Um, I'm literally just about to hit 2,000 subscribers, so thank you for watching uh, and thank you for giving it a like and subscribing. You guys are awesome. Anyway, I'll see you on the next one. Hope you're enjoying the Hadrian's Wall videos. See you on the next one. Don't forget to get outside, get inspired. Go take a hike when you can and I'll see you on the next one. Take care everyone. Ta-da. Bye-bye.